Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial. Today and this is going to be looking at Bloom and Lens Flares. So Bloom and Lens Flare lets you make brighter areas or brighter pixels on your screen much brighter. And it's an image effect which allows you to do that um, quite easily really. And there's three different actual image effects that we could possibly use. And each is slightly different. Some more optimised than others. Now, all you need to do for this scene is you need to bring in a first person controller you can bring that in if you've um, got it in your standard assets you can right click in the project panel import package and bring in characters if not you can get it from the unity asset style so once you've brought in the character and put it in your scene as you've got here i've got mine here you want to click on your first person character which will be classed as your main camera and you can see the preview here now we want to then go to component, image effects, bloom and glow and we've got one of three choices so what we'll do is we'll add each of the three choices to our camera and I'll skip on okay so we're in my um, just the game view tab here so we can actually see what's going on just out of the box without having to play the um, scene so if I untick all of them and we've got each of the three so we'll first go through the sort of bloom and it just Briefly, is a bloom and lens flare to sort of brighten up the screen pixels or everything that's there on the screen. So, if we enable bloom, you can already see the sort of edges of things start to get a little bit brighter. We can set the quality so the cheaper it is, the better for performance, the higher, the better quality it will all be. You can have different modes, you can have basic and complex, and they just add some more features. If you need them, we'll keep it on basic. You can the modes which are blend our screen, and like if you'd seen my other tutorial the other day, is that screen keeps it based on sort of the consistent colours that you've got an add will add an extra sort of layer to it. And we've got HDR which stands for high dynamic range rendering, and this can be used to try and sort of simulate a more real world value based on something that you can do within your scene if you've enabled the HDR, HDR on your actual camera it can sometimes be used to make so if I set it on and off it doesn't really make much of a difference for this scene in particular because I haven't really tweaked any settings you can read all about in the unity documentation about image effects and bloom you can set the intensity higher which we get a much brighter to all the very bright areas it adds another layer of contrast to everything we can inch it lower the threshold which will make it more intense so we can almost visualize a dreamlike state or something if you were dreaming or you can just do it to sort of emphasize to make it more photorealistic I guess but uh, this is a little bit too far in this instance blur iterations and we can just add more blur effect to the object and sample distances how far the sort of bloom effect does work so then we can play the game and we can look around at the very bright objects and it's maybe a little bit too crazy for now but it sort of has that nice effect similarly we'll leave the bloom script for now we'll look at the uh, bloom and flares which is a slightly older version I think and that was the component image effects bloom and glow and the bloom and flares there is this is similar where high dynamic a rendering is actually also detected and it ignore alpha channels and detects the sort of bl um, glow information for you again we can use basic or complex we can do the screen modes or the blend modes so we'll leave it on add I can put HDR on or off I'll have it as auto we can turn the intensity down maybe or leave it up again threshold does a similar thing yet for this instance seeing as we've got HDR doesn't make much of a difference and we can change the blur iterations again and similarly like before we can untick that and we'll look at the bloom optimized which is probably the more optimized of the three and we can because it's not got as many particular options to do with blending and having more complex sort of functionality is that you can again lower the threshold to make it bigger increase the intensity to achieve the same sort of effect again increase the blur size if you need to and the blur iterations to make it more 
sort of if you were looking directly in the sunlight you might see that sort of thing and you can have the blur type and we keep our standard and then you can look around and you see it again and it might be if you were sort of well maybe the sort of the effect of it being really bright and you were looking directly at the sunlight and you can have image effects combining with the two but really it's dependent on what you're looking for usually I think the bloom actual effect is quite good as long as you don't overdo the intensity you can just bring out a little bit of the areas which might need a little bit of extra help because you can just add a very nice sort of element to your scene and every different light every different cloud will be affected by it and get that sort of added effect so it's a nice thing to mess around with and you know you can go as far and advanced as you need to so really that's pretty much it i'm going through basically the three bloom and lens flare effects and so thanks again for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers